Welcome to Fall in the Field 2020. My name is Jessica and I'm one of your instructors today. Our theme this year is Nature's Tales, Stories of Change and Resilience. We are here at the beautiful Rogue River Preserve and today we are going to explore the fascinating underwater world of anadromous fish and how their biology influences their survival in the Rogue River. We'll talk more about what anadromous fish are in the next video, but you probably are familiar with one already, the salmon. Let's start by talking about how special salmon are. Salmon are born in freshwater streams and rivers where they begin to mature, and then they swim downstream and live out the majority of their lives swimming free in the salty ocean. When they're ready to spawn, they find their way back to the same stream they were born in and lay their eggs. After spawning, they die and their body's nutrients feed the food web that produces food for the new generation of baby salmon. These creatures are so amazing! I have a question for you. How is your life connected to salmon? Do you eat salmon? Do you go fishing? Do you swim or play in rivers or creeks? How are salmon culturally important to you, your family, and your community? Pause the video and write down some of your thoughts. Hello, my name is Marina and I'm another one of your fall in the field instructors. Salmon are of great importance to the indigenous peoples of this land that we are blessed to learn on. As we gather on the traditional land of the Tekelma, Shasta, and Latgawa peoples, past and present, we honor with gratitude the land and the water and also the people who have been stewards of this place throughout the generations. This calls us to continue learning about how to be better stewards of the land we inhabit as well. The Tekelma people, whose name means those along the river, lived along the banks of the Rogue River before being forcefully removed into reservations by settlers in the mid-1800s. The Tekelma people rely upon salmon runs as a main source of food. I have a part of a story to share with you written by Thomas Doty called All Night Salmon Leap the Falls, which was inspired by Tawaiwi Agnes Baker Pilgrim, or Grandma Aggie, the beloved Tekelma Elder. In this excerpt, an elder woman from the village of Tillamook delivers this message to a group of travelers. Her speech is a mixture of formal Tekelma, Chinook jargon, and native sign language flowing together in a way that makes clear the meaning and poetry of her message. This river is Galam, and we are Tekelma, the people of the river. The salmon are our relations. Each year, the salmon people come to our village during this moon when their backs are strained. Like you, they have traveled along rivers and creeks, and like the people everywhere, they have suffered by the time the salmon reached this middle stretch of the river, they look battered. Their fins are torn and their sides bruised. They've struggled against miles of strong rapids and leaped many a waterfall on their journeys upriver. By the time the salmon reach our village of Tillamook, their backs are sore at the very least. This is a triumph and a time of celebration. As they pass our home, we pray and we sing for the salmon. We dance for the salmon, and we tell stories of the salmon people. We also fish for the salmon, but in taking, we give back. The first salmon who offers himself to the net is caught and gutted and put on a drying rack. For as long as it takes for that salmon to dry, no more salmon are taken from the river. Thousands leap the falls continue their journey to the beginning of their world. Like us in all our relations, they want to live a long time. To the sounds of flutes, divers return the bones of that first salmon to the bottom of the river. As soon as he has dried, the fishing starts again, and that night we feast. After hearing the story about the Tacoma people and their relationship to salmon, plus your own connection to salmon, think about this question. How do humans impact anadromous fish, like salmon and steelhead, of the Rogue River? 
At the end of this video, write down some of your thoughts about this question. We're going to continue to explore this question more during this lesson. In our next video, we are going to learn more about the life cycle of an adramus fish and how their bodies allow them to live in both salt and fresh water. See you soon!